Hey guys, it's Ancap24 coming to you with another video. Today it's going to be a little bit different of a guide. We're going to look at um, how to beat zone blitzers. Um, basically, I'm going to go ahead and look at five specific blitzes that you're going to see. Um, this type of variation of a blitz and kind of show you those blitzes to show you that this is how they work and then we're going to pick just five plays at the same formation and show you how we can beat those blitzes each one of those blitzes with each one of these plays uh, i know i've been um, getting some feedback from you all that i give a lot of quality and i get a lot of quantity and sometimes um, it's very hard to decipher what to use what night to use because um, there's a lot out there so today i'm just going to go ahead and be able to condense that stuff for you so i'm just going to do it very specifically one formation against these five blitzes and showing it um, how you can use these in combination to beat any blitz that you're going to see um, of these variations okay so let's go ahead and just show you the blitzes first get that out of the way show you that they work show you what type I'm going to talk about and then I'm going to run those against the plays that I want to run them against okay so the first one let's look at what's very popular right now is um, double edge heat okay so something like um, two four five Let's go look at um, the Buck Slant 3, okay? So that's a very popular type blitz. Let's go ahead and just run it against, um, basically, um, show you here, um, defense, offense, okay? So here it is. Here's your, here's your uh, initial setup. I'm not going to go over how to set up the blitzes um, because basically if it's not something that's original from me I don't like to broadcast other people's stuff so you know these are some blitzes that I've learned some that I've tweaked and over time I don't know what I've tweaked and what's me and what's what was originally theirs um, and I don't want to give everybody else's stuff out so basically I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the blitz show it to you here okay so that's how it's gonna end up setting up I'm just gonna go ahead and hike the ball show you that it comes in and this is double-edged heat comes from this side because the other side gets blocked okay so that's the buck slant three another type of heat that you're gonna see is gonna be like the dime three double sky so let's go ahead and show you that one real quick this is again another double each heat where you block one side the other side comes in type deal so here it is the dime normal double three double sky let's go ahead and uh, stick with pick any play here it doesn't really matter okay so on this play same difference I want to set it up and when you see it you got both corners coming from both sides um, you got everybody in the middle bunched up and if you just hike the ball normal again you're gonna have double H heat plus the guy in the middle all right another popular blitz that people come at you with um, I use that blitz whatnot okay next play we're gonna look at is an overload type blitz and it's going to be something like the Nickel Slant Show 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you Nickel Normal Slant Show 2. And um, this is one of those type ones that you basically um, get and where people overload one side and they try to get the guy free. So let's go ahead and show it to you here. Something like this. Alright, so... Something like this, we're going to overload the left side, try to get that guy off the edge there, and be able to get it in, okay? So, I'm just going to hike the ball here, and by overloading it, that guy comes in, okay? So, it's like an overload blitz, we'll show you how to beat those type of blitzes. And, um, something up the gut, this is kind of a popular blitz that you're seeing, um, some people, um, have tried to duplicate this one that they've seen on some streams or whatnot, um, it's the weak slant three and um, I use this one to kind of get up the gut on on people um, basically just to um, give them a different look kind of get the the linebacker you know in your face a gap right so let me go ahead and here's the setup I get in here and that guy goes a gap on you usually quarterback will go down <laughs> but uh, I'll show it to you one more time just for consistency um, let's 
and that guy just comes a gap and gets to the quarterback okay so that's another type blitz that people are showing um, on zone blitzes and the last one let's show you an a gap that's more um, defensive tackle type right um, let's check out the three four even crossfire three and um, what we do on this All right, so a type of blitz where this guy comes in. Gonna get it as cleanly that time. Let's go show it again here. And that time he gets in clean and basically that type of blitz, okay? So these are all blitzes that you're going to face. Um, whether it be defensive A gap, whether it be middle linebacker A gap, whether it be double edge from um, the cornerbacks, whether it be um, you know basically an overload blitz where either the cornerback or the linebacker gets in, depending on which where you put the player, those type blitz are the blitzes that we're going to show. So once we got that established, guys, we're going to go ahead and now show you different plays to go ahead and beat those coverages. Okay, so. Um, So now that we've got those blitzes down, uh, the first play we're going to look at is going to be um, the PA stretch. Okay, now let me go ahead and show you. We're going to do everything out of the same um, formation. That's going to be single back dice slot. And there's a reason why I'm doing this, and I want to kind of break everything down for you right now. And uh, pull up the play here and kind of. Um, show you that's the play we're going to look at the PA stretch is the first play now the reason why you want to go out of under center is one your a gaps don't come in when you go under center you also have a hard time when it's play action and um, we're going to go ahead and look at a couple different concepts in order to give you the best opportunity to not get pressure and be able to quick throw your player when he does get pressure to you and do five different plays out of the single back dice slot so you can keep your component off balance by using the same formation so I'm kind of being this a little bit more narrow minded here but at the same time I think you guys are going to benefit more this way okay so let's look at all these blitzes against this play so I'm gonna pick the PA stretch and the first play let's just go to the nickel um, Two, four, five, nickel, um, buck slant. Okay, so I'm gonna set up the blitz like I did before. Okay, so it's all set up. Okay, now on this play, what you want to do is your first read is the strong safety. Okay, see the guy that I have colored right now? He's your read. All right. Now, if he is back, you've got two options. If he is up, you only have one option. Okay. So I want to go ahead and show it to you here. Your option, you, the way you run it, no matter what, is to go ahead and move um, your Y receiver from left to right. Okay. Now, if he is back, you can do one of two things. You can keep the Y receiver the way he is, or you can put him on a streak. So I want to show you on the streak first. Put him on a streak. This ball is going to go to the B receiver right here. You're going to cut off the play action really quickly, and you're going to throw it to him. So let me go ahead and show it to you cut it off throw it to him right there okay they can't get to you all right that's such a quick throw the way it does it's the same blitz i showed you earlier it's not going to be able so let me set the blitz up again and now i'm going to show you the second option all right now the second option when the, the strong safety is back that is your read he's back now you can go throw it to the y receiver you cut it off and you throw it to the y receiver okay again why does this work? I'm going to break this down for you really quickly here. The reason why it works first off is it's under center. So your A gaps aren't going to do. But this is an A gap blitz. We'll get to that later. Two, you are basically keeping the tight end in. So you got extra protection so that guy can't get off the edge. Three, you're taking the motion, the handoff play action to the right, moving the pocket so nobody can get those gaps. And then you're faking it and you're basically throwing it before you can. Now look how quickly he throws it. This is the longer route. And the guy's two feet away from him. You're running away from the from the left side. 
okay now you're gonna see it later where we're gonna do double edge with the other ones and it still works okay so that's how that that is broken down you want to use that okay so that's against the buck slant now let's go and run the same exact play against the three double sky all right so we're gonna to go to dime and we're gonna to go to three double sky okay so now let's go pick our same play I'm under wide trips great all right same play okay so let me go set up that same blitz all right again first read is strong safety he is back okay so we're going to run it two different ways now because he's back even though if you see where that that yellow zone goes it appears it's going to go into right where we're going to throw it to B but that's why we put it the guy in the street so this is the same setup you got the two guys from the outside we're going to move him over and the first thing we're going to do is do the first setup. We're going to put him on a streak. And what we're going to do is we're going to hike it, stop, throw, and he's right there. That streak runs off that, that, that um, one yellow route. Now the same thing. Let's move him over. Let me set up the blitz. Okay, now i got the blitz. Everybody's coming at you. And we're going to go to the Y receiver this time, okay? Stop it, throw it, and get to the Y receiver okay so you can see how that works on both ways now let's go to the next blitz which is going to be the overload blitz with a slant show too out of the nickel normal and go ahead and run it here let's get the IPA stretch coming out here now I'm going to set the blitz up all right so here's the blitz. You got these guys coming at you right there. See it? Okay. I'll put that controller down. We're going to go ahead and the first read is going to be, is the strong safety back? He is. So now I can go two different ways. Go ahead and put the Y here. I'll cut this off. Throw it right there. All right. So that's your first one. And then let's go ahead and set the blitz up again. All right, let's just show it to you so you can see it. There it is. Move this guy over. This time, even though he's back, we're gonna keep the Y on its um, out route. Cut it off, throw this right there, and you're good to go, okay? So that's how it works against the, the overload blitz, the nickel slant show too. Now let's go look at the um, up the gut blitz, which is the 4-3 stack weak slant. And here we are, the weak slant three. Let's pick our play. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so there's the setup right there. It's coming up the middle. Now here's the read, guys. Okay, see where that strong safety is now? The strong safety is up, okay? When the strong safety is up, there's no, you're not gonna throw it to the B receiver, okay? Because he stays there. That's that one variable. So that's why that's the read you're looking for. Now you're just going to the Y receiver. All right. So that's your throw. If you try to throw it to that B receiver, he will be in that lane um, because he's not coming at the player. Even if I try to drive him off, he's in the way. So that's why I'll show it to you one more time. See where the, um, the strong safety is. I'm going to move it over. Just This is the guy you're highlighting, Wilcox, right there. And because he's in that position after he, that's not a good throw for him. That's why you're going to the Y receiver. Okay. So let's get out of this and let's go ahead and show you the defensive tackle a gap blitz out of the three, four, even cross. All right. So I'll pick the play here. All right. Here's the PA stretch. And now we're going to go to the three, four, even Uh, crossfire three okay so what we're gonna do here is set up our blitz and um, that's how it is okay 
Now we're going to do the same thing. Our first read again is that strong safety. Is that strong safety back? Yes. We've got two options. We're going to go ahead and put the Y on a streak just to start off with and show you option number one. Okay. And then we'll show you option number two after I set it back up. Oh, so here. There's the blitz. All right, so option number two, because the guy is back, we can go ahead and leave him on this Y um, on his route, cut it off, and throw it there, okay? So those are your options. Those are the plays that you can do with the PA stretch, okay? So that's a great, um, you know, I ran it against every single blitz that I had shown you earlier that got in, but they just don't get in when you run these plays correctly, okay? The next play we're gonna look at, same dice slot, is gonna be the middle slants play, okay? So let's go back to the original blitz here, which is gonna be the nickel two, four, five, the buck slant three. And the reason why I picked these blitzes is because these blitzes are, things are very popular, one, and two, it shows you all different aspects of plays that, um, you know, different types of blitzes that you're going to face, okay? So the next play we're going to look at is going to be called the Middle Slants play. And this is one of my favorite go-to plays because it beats all these um, blitzes, but it's also a nice play because it gets about 10 to 15 yards down the field where a lot of the other ones get between 8 and 10. So first thing let's look at is the, um, the Buck Slant blitz the buck slant three blitz to where we're going to kind of show it to you and I, I picked the wrong blitz here let me get out of this um so i could show you how it works against all these here so let's go back to the middle slants play all right and i'm sorry i'm using two controllers back and forth so um this may be a little bit more of a lengthy video than it has to be but we're gonna work it out here so here is the setup i want you to see Right here, there's the setup right there. Look at that free safety, he's in that yellow zone. It appears that he's gonna be in the middle of where we wanna throw the ball, but I'll show you what we do to make sure that he's not. So basically, how we set this play up is we go ahead and put max protect, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this Y on a hitch. When that Y goes and hitch, that free safety using that, that short yellow zone will go all the way to the hitch, opening up that lane. So let's go ahead here, throw it here, get it back up a couple steps, throw that right there in that spot, you just got yourself 15 yards. I'm just going to show it real quick on instant replay um, so you can see what I meant by that free safety. Basically, when he does this, watch that free safety. When he does this hitch, he goes to catch that guy, opening up that route. And that's why it's so successful against pretty much any coverage. Okay, so that's it against the um, the Buck Slant 3. Let's go ahead and show it to you against the Dime. Um, the three double sky and let's go ahead and get you that dime here all right here's the double sky let me set up that blitz so you can see it all right same thing we got double edge heat from both sides we have that guy in that yellow but we're going to manipulate that yellow because of that one hitch so basically let's go ahead and put it on a max protect put the wire on a hitch go back Throw that right there, and again, you got your 10 to 15 yards. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of this again. Let's show it against the overload blitz, which is the slant show two, um, out of the nickel, uh, normal. And let's see if I can find that middle slants here. I I'm just gonna pick any play because the middle slants is an audible. So that's a nice thing that you can do. So now it's got an audible. Um, let me go ahead and set this blitz up. All right, so that's the blitz right there. Let me show it to you right there. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, max protect. All right, so if you see, basically that's the thing. But these guys are coming at you. You got a bunch of them coming at you, but um, we're still gonna be able to get it to that X receiver once um, he makes his cut. I'm throwing it right in that hole. Okay, again, 17 yards on that throw. Let's go ahead and get out of this one more time. Let's show it against the 4 3 stack weak slant. 
All right, and like I said, I'm just gonna pick any play. Go ahead and put the thing there. Set up my offense first. That's the max protect and that. Let's set up the defense. This is gonna be your um, up the gut blitz with your middle linebacker. All right, on this is a little bit different because you can see that it's not gonna be something that you're gonna be tacking. You're gonna look. You're gonna be tacking a cover three shell, right? So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and hike it same difference now he's going to just cut underneath and it's even more open because you're not attacking that one safety that was in the yellow all right so let's look at the last blitz here this is going to be the defensive tackle a blitz out of the three four even and all right let's see here and so let me just set this up, put the Y on a hitch, put the max protect. Okay, so that's it, you're set up. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up the defense. All right, so that's basically where we're at right here. That's the defense. As you can see, um, against another cover three type shell. And basically gonna do the same exact thing. That hook's going to hold him there, and you put it right there, okay? So that's basically how it works against all those blitzes. So now you've seen that the PA um, stretch works against all those blitzes. The middle slants work against all those blitzes. Let's go ahead and look at a different play. This play is going to be called the slot swing. And we're going to run this play flipped, okay? And um, we're going to have, again two different reads on this and I want to make sure you see that um, so let's go ahead first thing we're gonna do is call that buck slant we'll just go in order the same way we were going before so you see it's consistent um, let me set up the buck slant all right so here's your read on this one okay so let me go ahead and show the offense all right here's the offense the setup is you put the A on a streak the B on a slant okay so that's your setup just like that now, the player that we're targeting is this guy right here I just highlighted, the free safety, okay? If he jumps up like he was before, um, you're gonna throw it to the tight end on the A route, on the streak. If he stays back, and then you're gonna throw it to the X route, okay? So that's basically the setup. So let me go ahead and show it to you here. You watch that guy, he jumps up, you're throwing it to the A route, and are just wide open, okay? That's basically how you want to set that up. It's the same exact thing each way. But let's go ahead and show you the, the next blitz. Which is going to be the dime uh, three double sky. Um, let's go ahead and get the defense first. Here's the three double sky. Let's get the slot swing. Alright, flip it. Alright, so we're going to set it up A on a streak, B on a, on a slant. I put the B on a slant just in case, say the guy's a middle linebacker user and he jumps the A route. Um, I like to have the B as a um, back, you know, uh, back plan type deal because if the middle linebacker is not blitzing, you're going to have enough time. All right. So basically, let's go ahead and um, set this defense up. Okay, so you see a double edge from those two guys, the middle linebacker there. It appears that the, um, you know, basically there's the A, um, and the free safety is in the, in the the yellow. So we want to watch him. We got our setup here. He jumps it. You're throwing it right there. Okay, basically you're just replacing that guy where he's at with that. Um, it only works on the left hand side with the tight end on that side because he's attacking that yellow zone that a lot of these blitzes have. I kind of showed you that in a different video but in general that's kind of how we're, we're, we're attacking it. Okay, So let's go ahead and look at a different blitz now. Um, the next blitz is the overload blitz which is the nickel slant. Um, slant show 2. Let's go ahead and find this slot swing. Let's flip it. Put the A on a streak. The B on a um, on a uh, slant. Let's set up the splits. All right. So here's your blitz. See it right there. And now we're looking at that um, 
that free safety right there in the left here. Let me just put it on him so you see that's that's your read. If he jumps up, he jumps up, we're throwing it right to the A. And on some blitzes, it's even worse. You know, you basically can get it out there, right? So let's go ahead and look at the next blitz, which is going to be the 4-3 stack weak slant 3. All right. And let's get our slot. Flip it. All right. Put the A on a streak. B on, on the thing. Um, set this up. This is the middle linebacker pressure. All right, so here's the setup right there. And right now you're gonna see right away that the um, free safety is in the middle of the field, okay? When the free safety is in the middle of the field, he's in a cover three. So let me show you, see how that's he's in a cover three most of the time. So that read's gonna be a little bit different. So right now my first thought is, can I get it to A? Yes. Uh, I'm going to throw it to him. If I can't, I'm going to throw it to the X receiver. So right now, because he's right there and he's going to go backwards, you're going to throw it right there to the X receiver because that guy's backing up. Okay, so that's the second read that you're throwing. Um, when you see that they're split, you kind of want to attack the left guy. When you see that they're not split, most likely he's going to be deep. And this route also on the X also beats man coverage. So if you if you didn't know that it was if you read that it was cover three and it actually was cover one, it could still hit that X receiver. Okay, so that's why I go to that guy on that play. Okay, so that was your four three stack um, weak slant three. I'll show it to you on this that you can hit the. Let's go ahead and show it here real quick. But your your thought process should be right away. Um, Let's go to the X first, but if you can, you can throw it right, ooh, I, I didn't back up when I threw it. You can still throw it to that tight end receiver. Um, if you throw it and pass lead him to the left, but I do the pre-snap read knowing that I'm gonna go to the X receiver um, on this because it looks like everybody's gonna be backing up. So you can throw it, see how you can throw it there, but that guy's kinda there. Um, and he kind of got bumped off his route there. That's why it's a safer route to throw to the X receiver. Now, the last blitz is the defensive uh, tackle A blitz out of the 3-4. And any any defensive and um, defensive tackle blitz is going to get shut down under center with these plays. So I'm just showing you one particular one because um, it's getting more popular right now. And let's show you with the slot here. I really like the slot when you know that you've watched your like watched your opponent and he's not using that free safety and that free safety keeps on dropping. I'm gonna throw this in on one of their blitzes, you know, because that's that's who you really want to key is that one tight end, and um, if you can get him off guard, you can really kind of kill him there. So let me set this up and. So that's basically the coverage right there. That's that's the play. Now on this again, we're gonna look at um, do I get it to the X or do I get to the A? Depending on now the guy is shaded to the left. So um, let's look at that that free safety right here. You have him open. You're gonna throw it right to him. Okay. So basically, I always kind of look at the A first, and then go to the X and, and kind of see how it is as it works. Because this originally, if you look at it, is a two safety shell and we're actually uh, switching it here when we when we do our um, our adjustments so that's basically the way it works there put that there put the B there and, and that's why the B also is there and you see how you, that just opens up for you right there to that guy so that is definitely your first read and your second read is when you see the high safety is to kind of look at the X as your first read okay so that's the slot swing I went through all the coverages let's go look at the PA corner post now oh PA corner post I did a whole video on it um, I'm sure you've seen it by now uh, it's definitely a, a good play and it's a great play to beat blitzes if you make the right reads okay so let's go to the first play right now and look at the two four five um buck slant three where are you at 
okay, Buxland 3. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the PA corner post. What I like about the PA corner post 1, it's got the same handoff motion uh, fake that the PA stretch did that we showed you in the first place. So we can kind of keep them off balance with that. So to stay consistent, let's go ahead and put this Y on motion on the first type setup. Okay, and we're going to put the B on a streak. And then we're going to mass protect. Okay, so that's going to keep your tight end in. And on the first, um, the first setup, we're going to try to, depending on what the read is, we're going to show you what we do. Okay, so here's the setup with, with the um, Buckslant 3. So this is what you're facing right now. The read is, are the cornerbacks pressed? Okay, it's that left corner prac press. That's the one we're looking at, the left guy. If he is pressed, we're going to move these guys over, and we're going to look to get it to Douglas in the corner. Okay, that's why you put the B on a streak. You have to put him on a streak. So we're going to fake it, cut it off, throw it right there, and that time I kind of faked it a little bit too quickly. Let me show it to you again. Um, let me set the uh, defense up because... This way I can just concentrate on offense. There's the setup. Move this guy over. Put the B on a streak. Go ahead and max protect. There you got it. Go ahead and shake it off. Put it right there. And that's the throw. Okay? So that's your first option that you're doing. The second option is if the guy's um, pressed, you're going to set up the defense here. You see that it's all there. You can move this tight end over. And you can cut off your play action and you can throw it to your A. Okay? So that's the other setup that you can do in order to make, um, to get the ball off in time with the blitz coming. So those are the two ones if, the, if they're pressed. Now, if they're not pressed, we'll show you a different way. But let's go through all the defenses so you can see how they work. So the next one's the dime three double sky. three double sky let's go ahead and look at the PA corner post when we do the three double sky we'll set it up all right so first way see how they're pressed now I want to give you a little bit tidbit of an information all right when most people blitz nowadays the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna base a line they base a line so that they can set up the blitz the same way every single time well when you do motion and the guy doesn't move it's a very good indication they're blitzing you. That's why I like to do motion a lot because the the way I set this up, the first thing I did was I based the line, and because the, no one moved, um, that guy didn't come over or whatnot. There's a good indication that that guy has the baseline for a reason, and it's most likely because he's blitzing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing, max protect, and we're gonna get it to the Y receiver here on our first option. We're gonna go ahead and fake it off throw it there and get it there okay so that's the first option the second option like we said before let's set up our defense all right and then we're gonna move this guy over we're going to actually the second one is to move the tight end over so let me get that back come on come on Doug. let's get back there buddy second is to get the tight end over and we're going to get it to him on the fake throw it there and he's open there sometimes you want to pass lead it down depending on what that um, that safety does but I, I it's such a quick pass quick throw your safety kind of boxes that guy out okay so the next one is going to be the slant show two and let's go ahead and pick our play here and I know this is monotonous I'm going through every single coverage every single one but I want to make sure that you guys have confidence that you can throw these plays against all these normal major blitzes and know that these places are going to be open for you so here's the slant cover two we're going to head and send it up all right so there's the setup right there and what we're going to do is we see a read is that these guys are pressed so I put the B on a streak and move this guy over and we're going to 
max protect. So, okay. So there's your setup. Go ahead, cut this off. Throw it to the Y receiver. And you see that that's open. And move this guy over. All right, let's set up the defense. You know when they blitz guys, we're going to have better ability to throw the ball. It's just the way it works. Um, and, uh, oops, let's see here. So that's why if you can get the protection, and you can get them from not getting the angles they want because of the play action, because they're under center and whatnot, um, it just gives you that ability to beat them really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and cut this off, throw this ball here, and if he doesn't get his head taken off, you got a good play, okay? So let's go to the next one, and I'm going to show you um, the next two are actually blitzes that don't require the pressing. So that's why I like to show those in here. So let's go ahead and take the point of coast. The next one's going to be the 4-3 weak slant 3. And here's the one with the um, linebacker that comes up the gut. All right. So that's the setup there. I'm just going to put it up here to this guy. Now, like I said before, your first read was to see if they were pressed. If they're not pressed, this is what you want to do. Um, basically, you're going to go ahead and do the max protect, same exact thing before. Move this guy over, put the B on a streak, and max protect so that we've got the same look going. All right, so I get the max protect. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, cut this off, and throw this to that guy there. Okay, you've got a one-on-one -on -one with a DB dropping. Okay, so that's how that would work on that play. Um, let me just show it to you one more time because it was kind of quick but the way I showed it to you. So we're going to move this guy over. We're going to put the B on a streak. We're going to max protect. All right, so that's the, that's the setup offensively. Let's go ahead and set this defense defensively so you can see that you're like all those blitzes that I was showing you before that were getting in really quickly aren't factors if you get the ball off you know and you, and you call the right place so you're gonna go ahead and cut this off throw this out there and you're good to go on that okay so let's look at the last one here and that's gonna be the a gap the three four even cross and let's get the even one okay here we go cross fire let's go ahead and pick our PA cross a corner post okay now again let me set this up with the defense tackle blitz here all right so this is the setup again you've got um they're not in a pressing situation so your thought your first thought should be i should get it to this x guy let's move this guy over and put the b on a streak move this guy over max protect all right so that's your setup right there and we're going to go ahead and cut it off and go to um, your receiver there. Now, on the same thing, um, you can still work it the same way. And I didn't show this on the first time around. But you can go ahead and um, let me set this play up and I'll show you. All right. So can also do the same motion we were doing before because before we we're doing right to left now we can do this from left to right and move this guy this way and we can cut we can cut this off and do the same play that way okay so it's the same blitz um, so that way we have the both ways so we're not so uh, obvious on which way we're doing it so that's how the PA corner post plays so now you see PA stretch middle slants the slot swing flipped and the PA corner post all beat every one of those five um, blitzing packages by throwing it the right way. Now I got one other play that you should always have in your arsenal when it comes to any type of zone blitzing. Um, that's the wide receiver screen. And the reason why I have it here, and this is why I pick one of these formations that's in it, is that this formation itself has that wide receiver screen. And it's not an obvious wide receiver screen. It's one of those that, you know, you see the five wide, one of your first things should be in your mind is wide receiver screen. This is not a, a formation that you screams wide receiver screen, so that's why I like it. Um, let's go ahead and do the 245 and show it to you that um, 
why we server screen should always be an option if someone is trying to um, go ahead and um, blitz you from a zone package type standpoint. So let me go ahead and set up the buck slant. And this is going to be the last play we'll look at today, so bear with me when we go through all this here. So we'll go ahead and run the play here. And now you got off to the races because you have that ability to get the ball um, to your receiver and down the field. So let's go ahead and look at the next one, which is going to be uh, the nickel slant two. And I said the nickel normal, nickel slant two, pick the wide receiver screen, move this guy over, put him on an in. I want to do the defensive setup here. Move this guy in. There's your setup. Get that play off. And now you just got more room, you know, to be able to run down the field because all their guys are blitzing. So the next one we're going to look at is the 4-3 um, stack the weak slant three. All right, pick our wide receiver screen. We'll set the splits up the way we've been doing. This is the middle linebacker blitz. Move this guy over, put him on an in. And now you got your up the field opportunity to get some more yardage. Okay, so that's what the um, against that. Now let's look at the last blitz. That's going to be the a gap blitz, which is the three four even cross fire. All right, here we go, and I'll show you how. The wide receiver screen will beat that. So what we want to do here is set this up, put this on this guy, go ahead and move this over, put him on an in. Get that ball off, and now you just got all that running ability. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video um, I really wanted to break down some major blitzes that you see some you know even if it's not the same exact blitz it's the same concept an overload blitz is an overload blitz um, even though you might not be the slant show too it might be the over three press whatever the case is it's the same type blitz is just different formations different people um, you know, you got your buck slant that shows basically dual edge heat where you got a cornerback coming and you got a linebacker coming from the other side. You've got the double sky, which is the two cornerbacks. You've got the, um, you know, the other ones where you've got a middle, up the middle linebacker hitting the A gap and you've got a defense tackle in the A gap. These blitzes don't work. You can't get to this quarterback unless, um, on these unless you make the wrong read. Um, because those guys are going to be open. Um, the design of the plays are to be able to quick throw your opponent so they can't get to you. Um, obviously, there are some things that can slow it down. They are are mixing in um, 
man coverage and you didn't realize it was man coverage and you throw into it um, with the PA corner post that does beat man coverage right away um, when you, on that inside slant on that first one not the corner post I'm sorry the um, the stretch play where the first play I showed you that does beat it inside the slot um, swing the left receiver beats it um, and then um, also on the middle slants that beats man coverage the um, corner post play beats man coverage on the Y route that goes to the corner and the Y receiver screen doesn't do great against man coverage but at the same time it's not like you're throwing it in, in um, it's just gonna get blown up um, you can always throw it to the in route once you see it's man but at the end of the day even if it's man you can still beat these if you throw it with confidence at the receipt at these guys because those plays do still beat man so but this was definitely just a zone blitz um guide today um i wanted to condense it so that way you know i came at you with just one formation against some popular blitzes so you can use that to go to when this, these people are blitzing you and you need those uh, you don't feel like you had enough time you can kind of nickel and dime them getting out of blitzing that's the thing that i love is um if you have a good run game and you know it gets into a um passing situation and you know they're going to blitz if you just do some quick passes it really does frustrate them they'll stop blitzing you and then you can get into that cover three mode where or cover four mode or these drop patterns that they want to throw on you and that's when you beat them deep over the top and you kind of have the uh the edge there so appreciate you guys watching this video and hope that uh it is helpful for you and uh thanks again and cap two